Hello and welcome to this new exciting video. Hi, my name is Sarah for everyone who is new here and I'm a freelance illustrator and I love to draw on my iPad in Procreate. And this is what I show you today. I have a super cute tutorial for you how you can create a pattern like this. The magical season is starting for me every year when I feel like autumn will start soon, the witch in me is coming out in an artistic way. And this is why I thought mm, I could show you how to make a magical pattern like this. This tutorial today is inspired by the absolutely incredible Charlie Clement. She's a wonderful, inspiring artist on Instagram. She has also wonderful Skillshare classes and a YouTube channel. And I will link the original tutorial down below into the description box to give her full credits as my inspiration today because I'm using some technique parts from this tutorial so please make sure to check out her video like her video comment her video give her all the love and support and we will start now into this video and by the way if you like procreate tutorials and speed paintings please hit the subscription button if you want to see more <laughs> thank you let's go we are starting now with a simple square canvas we are choosing 2000 by 2000 pixels and make sure you have your DPI set on 300. After this you choose one of the two main colors you want to use. I choose for my version now my favorite purple and I color drop it into the canvas. We have now one layer completely filled with this purple color. For the next step, we are going to our transformation tool, choose uniform, make sure snapping and magnetics is activated. This is super important and helpful. And now you grab one corner of your square and move it into the other corner until you see the yellow lines. Those lines I'm talking about. When you see these lines, you know this point of the square is perfectly centered on this and on this side. For the next step, we are duplicating this layer and we are moving this layer into this corner. And again, make sure you see the yellow lines. This snapping tool is super helpful to place objects like this in an absolutely perfectly way. And this is extremely important when it comes to create patterns, because when you want to repeat this pattern later on, you really want to make sure there is no mistake, there is no pixel missing, the repeating is flawless. So this is now our main setup for this checkerboard pattern. So now I'm choosing my second main color, because at the moment we only have my purple and white in the background but I want to have another color for my background to change the background color I'm tapping on this part of the background layer and now I can play around however I want with the different colors so I think I want to go for a slightly darker purple color but you can choose whatever color you prefer you can also change the color super easily later on so our basic is done now now we are creating a new layer over all the other layers I'm choosing black and I'm choosing the 6b pencil from the sketching set now I will doodle a little bit around, sketch around, play around with different objects I want to include into my pattern. I'm going for a more witchy themed pattern this time because autumn is starting soon and always when autumn is starting the witchy side in me starts to showing up a little bit. So I think I will include some stars, a moon, crystals. Let's see whatever my mind will come up to. And I also think I will put in each quarter another object, but you can also say, okay, here and here I want to have the same object and here and here. But this is absolutely up to you how you want to design this. I'm doing my sketching now. After this, I'm doing the coloring process of my objects. I will show you this whole process as a speed painting so you can see everything, but I don't have to explain everything in detail. And after this, I will show you how we will move on with this little part of this pattern because it will be a big repetitive pattern. So let's go.
So here you can see my finished drawing. I decided to go for a crystal, for a poison, for a crystal ball, moon, and a little planet and everything like this. And now I show you how you can turn this into a repeating pattern. For this we are going to this tool here, go to add and then we choose copy canvas. Like this you copy the whole thing you are seeing here in once. Now we are going back to our gallery. We are creating a new canvas and now we are creating a 6000 by 6000 canvas and make sure you have 300 dpi. Now we are going again to this tool and choosing paste and here you can see you have your previous canvas paste into this bigger canvas and if you remember our previous canvas had the size 2000 by 2000 pixels and the big one has now 6000 by 6000 pixels and this canvas will fit three times into this big one three times in this direction and three times in this direction. The transformation tool is already activated. We make sure we choose uniform and activate again magnetics and snapping. And I move this square into this corner. As you can see, there was again our yellow lines, which showed us it's perfectly fitted into this corner. And now we are duplicating this layer, moving it over to the side. And as you can see, there was a blue line showing between those two layers. And this showed us I perfectly placed this beneath this layer without any pixel in between. When we zoom in, you can see there's no white pixel <laughs> anywhere. Perfectly placed. Now I'm duplicating this layer a third time, moving it into this corner. And as you can see, you see the yellow lines and the blue line, and now it's perfectly placed. Now we are merging those three layers together like this. We are duplicating this layer again and moving it downwards. As you can see, the yellow lines are showing up again and here's the blue line between those two layers. So now we have placed this perfectly. We are duplicating this layer again and moving it to the bottom part. Make sure all the important lines are showing as well. And here we are. <laughs> this is our repeated pattern. You can merge all those layers now together into one big layer if you want. And you can repeat this as many times as you need it. Depending on how big or small you want to have your pattern. And also depending on what canvas sizes you are using. You can also work with a 1000 by 1000 canvas at the beginning and then later use a 3000 by 3000 canvas or you can go even bigger. It really depends on what you want to do with this pattern in the end and how big you need it to be, how big the end format needs to be for the product, for the print, whatever you want to do. This is only an example, but if you go, for example, to a Society6, you have different products which needs different sizes and for this you can adjust everything how you need it. This is only a simple way to do it in the beginning. I'm going now to upload this cute pattern on my society. 6 star because lately I'm really obsessed in creating patterns and uploading it into my shop and see it on the preview pictures on the different products and I think I will also do some color changes here and there and do different color versions. You have this canvas as your base canvas and here you can do any changes you want to do with the colors, with the sizes, with the details and then you copy this canvas again, put it into here, repeat it and then you can see how the big outcome will look like. I really hope you liked this little tutorial. Please make sure you have a look down into the description box and check out Charlie Clement's YouTube channel and her tutorial video. I will link it down below. And also check out her Instagram account because she is such an incredible and very inspiring illustrator. So please give her all the credits she deserves as my big inspiration for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It would really help me out and show the algorithm I'm doing good stuff on here. If you have any questions or recommendations what I should do, please let me know down into the comments. And guys, I wish you now a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Please stay healthy and stay safe. And we will see us in the next video. Bye.